Alad Jones, Jenny Bond, John Craven, Carol Kirkwood and Ainsley Harriet recently opened up about their experiences when meeting Queen Elizabeth II during the BBC programme The Day I Met the Queen. When reflecting on his experience, Alad revealed he forgot the words mid-performance and had to make up some lyrics, admitting it still made him feel sick when speaking about it. Reminiscing about his time as a young soprano in North Wales, Alad went back to his training ground of Bangor Cathedral. Excited to be back, he exclaimed, I really love this place, it is where I learned my craft, I was here as a chorister from the age of 9 to 11. That means service on a Tuesday, Thursday, rehearsals on a Friday and Saturday, two services on Sunday, I was really happy here, I had no idea it would lead to royal meetings. As he walked into the venue, he touched on thinking it was the biggest building ever when he was younger. He soon took his place where he trained for four years and went on to reveal his experience when he met Queen Elizabeth II. He began, this was my spot as a corrector for four years, but without the hours of practice and singing I put in here, I think the first meeting with the Queen I had would have been a complete nightmare, well actually, it was a little bit of a nightmare anyway. I had been asked by Andrew Lloyd Webber to close the first half of a royal gala performance in Edinburgh, but my performance in front of Her Majesty didn't quite go according to plan. It was the biggest concert I had ever done in my life, Mum and Dad were excited, on the bill were people like Shirley Bassey, Linda Evans from Dynasty, it was huge, about 200 acts. My job was to sing that Lloyd Webber classic memory, only I had to sing it from memory because on the night I wasn't allowed to use the score, he revealed. Alad continued, then on the second ding ding ding, I looked down the whole hall, and I saw an exit sign in red with the E flickering a little bit, and I thought to myself, I haven't got a clue what is coming next, I have forgotten the words. I had two and a half seconds to think of something, thankfully, I came up with some words on my own, and I said something like memory, I can hear the choir singing they are singing alone, I can hear them singing beautiful songs, and the memory lingers on. Finally, legs shaking, dry mouth looking terrified, I went back to the normal words for the verses 3, 4 and 5, honestly, I still feel sick telling the story now, he joked. Talad went on to speak about the reception he got after the performance and described the recurring nightmare he still suffers from. You can imagine when I finished the performance everyone was lovely, everyone bar Rory Bremnor, he came bounding up to me at the side of the stage and when you were singing memory, you don't have one. As you can imagine, that went down really well and it was my recurring nightmare throughout my childhood, I keep thinking, what would have happened if I hadn't made the words up? And in my nightmare, I look up at the Queen and Prince Philip, who are in the royal box, and I go I am really sorry your majesty and run off stage crying never to be heard of again and she's shouting to the tower with him, he described. As part of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, Buckingham Palace will play host to a massive open-air concert tonight. Charlotte Moore, the BBC's chief content officer, said of the special, We are thrilled to be bringing the nation together for this incredible, once-in-a-lifetime event, broadcast live across the BBC with an amazing star-studded lineup of performers to celebrate the Queen's momentous 70 years on the throne. Guests including Ella Eyre, George Ezra, Duran Duran, Sam Ryder, Diversity, and Diana Ross are set to perform. There will also be a special appearance from musical theatre composer Andrew Lloyd Webber and Lynn manuel Miranda, together with guests from hit musicals The Phantom of the Opera, Hamilton, Six, The Lion King, and Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat.
The Day I Met the Queen is available to watch on BBC iPlayer.